at Stamford Bridge. Just over 42,000 people packed inside. Let's look at the two lineups then. Chelsea back at full strength today. They've settled now on this 4 3 3 formation with Duff and Robin providing pace on the flanks. Either side of the Icelander, Ida Gudjonsson. William Gallas is preferred to Wayne Britt at left back. Thiago gets the nod over Jeremy in midfield. In fact, gradually a recognisable first team has evolved. The worry for Newcastle today is the defence. Olivier Bernard dropped out this morning with hamstring trouble, joining Steve Carr and Andy O'Brien on the injured list. So they're forced into deploying four central defenders across the back line, with 18-year-old Stephen Taylor making only his second start at right back. Still no Alan Shearer. He's got a thigh strain, but Clivert and Bellamy have performed well in his absence. That referee is Rob Stiles. Chelsea have lost just once in the Barclays English Premier League all season long. That was at Manchester City, but lately they've had that aura of invincibility. Can Newcastle threaten that today? Really from a neutral perspective, Paul Walsh, I suppose a, a Newcastle goal would enhance the contest. Well, I think so, you know, that would really set the game up brilliantly, wouldn't it? And Because uh, my biggest concern in the game is Newcastle's back four. You look across that back line and it doesn't fill me with total confidence and uh, you get the feeling that Newcastle are going to have to outscore Chelsea. Um, obviously, they would have to outscore them to win the game, but certainly get a goal to, to make a contest of it. There is Ronnie Johnson, who's been recalled for only his fifth start for Newcastle at the age of 35. And Paolo Ferreira, one of those who'll be returning to his old club, Porto, in the Champions League in three days' time. It was Bramble and Johnson who were at the heart of the Newcastle defence when these sides met just 24 days ago in the English League Cup. And it is worth stressing that that's a contest that Newcastle could well have won. Eventually they succumbed to two extra time goals. Here's Frank Lampard. And now Damien Duff, who has made his name as a left winger but is playing on the right-hand side of this 4-3-3 formation for Chelsea. Heidegger Johnson. The pitch looks very firm, I'm just looking down and uh, it's bubbling about a little bit and it's just a little bit lively out there, so first touch is very important getting that ball down under control and shifting it quickly. Pace to spare on the flanks for Chelsea with Duff and Robin. And just this worry that there are four fairly angular central defenders being deployed across the Newcastle back line today. There's Frank Lampard, he's missed just one of 129 English Premier League games since joining Chelsea from West Ham. Yeah, what a record that is, by the way. Uh, this level and this pace of football that they're playing week in, week out, to only miss one game is a, a fantastic achievement. Clivert beaten in the air by Terry. Taylor coming over the top of Robin. And here's Lee Bowyer. you made of Newcastle under Graham Souness? They started well, then they dipped, and now they seem to be reaching the similar standard to that that they had when he first arrived. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult in a way because he's had to change things around at times, and uh, he wants to have a good look at everyone. He's had an inconsistent back four, which always makes it very difficult. But um, I think in, the, in, in this instance today, that, that it's a massive game for Newcastle because they have started. They're on the the brink of starting another little run going and this would be a great place and a great confidence boost if they could come away from Stamford Bridge with something but uh, I'm not really sure yet I'd like to give it a few more games before I really see what sort of Graham Souness's side settles down at and, and what he does in the transfer window as well will be majorly important so you're just going to keep perching on top of that fence then just a bit at the moment because I don't know what he thinks his best settled side is and whether it would include just Shearer or whether he could play all three he's tried that up the front hasn't really worked and you know you get wrapped up in that situation where you're trying to keep everybody happy but um, I'd love to know what he thinks his best side is also he's got injuries at the back as well um, but they're coping with it at the moment but certainly the back area is a, an area you'd have to strengthen in the window Duff going to twist his way past Hughes Bramble away 
cleared a little further by Boya. Robin. PSV in the summer 12 million pounds and missed the first couple of months of the season with a broken ankle he's making up for lost time I mean I actually believe John that um, Bobby Robson would have eventually got it right anyway um, the key will be what, what will Graham Sooners do when he stamps his own authority on this team and buys one or two key players certainly needs central defenders I think um, obviously he's missing Stephen Carr at the moment um, uh, I don't know it's, uh, I, I just feel Bobby Robson would have got this right as well Bobby Robson's reign as manager of Newcastle began on this ground with a 1-0 defeat to Chelsea that's been the pattern for Newcastle at Stamford Bridge in recent years Bobby Robson lost on five of his six visits and it's 18 years since Newcastle last won in this stadium and a sign of the changing times, the crowd that day, unlike today's 42,000 full house, just 14,000. Certainly the personnel that Graham Sooners has got in his side today, you'd have to feel that they are certainly going to go for it. They're not going to sit back and try and soak pressure up. I think he would feel that his defence can't cope with that. So they're gonna, his best form of defence will be to try and attack Chelsea. Here's Boya. Bellamy. Alan Shearer was desperate to make the trip today, but the physios, Derek Wright and Paul Ferris, ruled out that possibility. They want him available for next week. And one thing we should, Paul, bear in mind is that despite this aura of near invincibility that Chelsea are trying to build up around themselves their last two home games against Everton when they had to wait very late in the game for a winner and against Bolton where they lost a 2-0 lead and only drew 2-2 the last two home games have been struggles really yeah they have you're right and uh, even today I just feel there's been a bit of a subdued start to the game um, normally at home they're out the blocks very quickly they're getting the game by the scruff of the neck um, the game hasn't started that way Chelsea look a little bit tentative at the moment to me um, it's interesting because I haven't seen them like this at home so far this season this is Stephen Taylor the 18 year old right back too strong big ask of him well it's great experience for him and uh, you know he, he looks a solid player I don't think he's going to do anything fantastic and uh, I think maybe here he might have been better I mean, he's had a look up, he's only really got Clive in there. Bellamy's made the little run, but it's, uh, he's never given Bellamy a chance with a pass. But uh, yeah, that'd be great experience at his age to get in there, mixing it with the best and uh, see how he gets on. Taylor did make a, an impressive full debut last Sunday's English Premier League game at St James's Park against Everton which finished 1-1 he also came on very late in that UEFA Cup tie at Sosho last week and there were a couple of substitute appearances towards the end of last season essentially three of the four regular members of Newcastle's defence Bernard, Carr and O'Brien are all missing today through injury Peter Cech has been beaten as Chelsea's goalkeeper he's conceded seven goals and this is his 20th appearance today Chelsea concede on average every five hours and 25 minutes which is phenomenal so that's the size of Newcastle's task today Taylor ooh. Do his confidence much good now he just came onto him a little bit quickly and rather than settling himself down taking a touch or maybe moving it and then crossing it he just tried to take the cross first time and that's a shank for me and you on the golf course isn't it but uh, that was a good very good bit of football there from Newcastle kept the ball very well nice and nice and patient crisp passing through the middle 
tried to work it on the left, came back out and worked it across to the right and then a poor, poor effort of a cross. Robert. Carvalho. Chelsea's free kick. Given away by Aaron Hughes, who's played in every position across the back line for Newcastle down the years. 260th appearance for the club today. Good Jonsson. Well-timed interception by Gallas, and then a poorly placed pass. Yeah, we were in the 10th minute of the game, and Arjen Robben hasn't hasn't really touched the ball so far. Damien Duff, who scored a couple of goals, won very quickly last week against Charlton. Just haven't had a kick yet, but uh, it's all credit to Newcastle. Boya. Now Thiago. Henry has spotted an offside flag, which Bellamy is contesting. That's not like him, is it? say that sarcasm is the lowest form of whip ball but you're spot on McAlele Robin with the ball whipped off his toe by Taylor McAlele with a good jump likewise by Titus Bramble game yet to settle into any sort of pattern and Newcastle intent on making life as awkward as possible for Chelsea yeah, I think that's dead right. I mean, they're working ever so hard, Newcastle, closing people down very quickly. There you see the possession stat, certainly Newcastle's favour, which is unusual at Stamford Bridge, certainly in the early stages of the games. unbeaten in their last 12 matches in all competitions they've won five of their last six games in the English Premier League and strangely and it does relate to the point you were making about their form here they've gained more points and scored more goals away from home than here at Stamford Bridge this season that was an offside against Goodyons yeah, I think I've said for most of the season, I think it w will suit Chelsea playing away from home because the onus is on the home side to take the play to Chelsea and that means they're coming on to them and then they've got great players who can play on the break uh, and they've done that excellently in certain situations at home. Teams tend to come here, sit deep, make it very difficult. Not, Newcastle certainly haven't done that so far, but they've still frustrated Chelsea. Climate. And I've also got to say, John, I think this is the flattest start I've seen from, from Chelsea this season. Here's an odd one because they had what was still a very strong team but effectively their shadow squad out in the week to win a League Cup quarter-final at Neighbours Fulham. That's a good ball though by Lampard to Duff. And but Johnson was waiting in the middle. I mean Damien Duff times that one where the ball's just played inside the fullback and um, he gets on the outside and he nearly got in again. Uh, scored against Charlton in a very similar situation last week. And you see it coming into Lampard, and it just releases him. Maybe expecting him to maybe just go across the defender and try and take it on himself, but um, selfishly tried to square it for Good Johnson, and uh, the move fell down. Ida Good Johnson has an outstanding scoring record against Newcastle. Six goals in his last six games against them. saw there Kieran Dyer straight away as soon as Robin got on the ball there straight on top of him so it's the double banking on him straight away not going to give him any space to get his head up and, and weave his magic 
Well, here's the man in goal scoring form, John Terry. Two last week at Charlton. Lampard will retrieve. Five still in the box for Chelsea. Chipped in by Lampard. And the header is from that man that's in such good form, John Terry. But the flag is up and it will be ruled out. Well, it must have been very tight, that's all I can say. I mean, Lampard picks the ball up. First of all, I thought he was trying to work it in on his right foot to get a shot on goal. Turns onto his left foot. And as it's drifted in there, yes, it's a good decision from the referee's assistant. Again, it's spot on. For a minute there, we just thought Chelsea, who had had a very slow start, in my opinion, had just got that lift that they needed, but uh, it's been ruled out. Goals are starting to flow for Terry, though. Five this season, three of them in the Champions League. Robert. That was a trip. It's a free kick. Thiago gave away the foul. And although it's his first infringement and the first foul of note in the game, it's going to be a bookable one. Yeah, yeah. Cavallo there just sees that Genesis has pulled, flicked the ball past him and looks like he's getting a shooting opportunity and he just flicks his heels thinking that that's a better situation, a free kick from 25 yards out, just on this left-hand side. And this, of course, is within Laurent Robert's range. I think is the perfect distance for him. Better check. Taking a good deal of care over the preparation of the Chelsea wall. Ferreira, Lampard, Gudjonsson, Duff and Makalele pressed into slightly reluctant service. Clivert and Robert over the ball. And it is Laurent Robert! And it was a decent save by Czech, he had to go a long way. Yeah, it's an excellent save and an excellent free kick. I mean, you can't ask much more than this from the free kick. He's got it over the wall, down and right into that top corner area. Peter Czech just took a step in the right direction just to get him on his way and it made it a comfortable save for him in the end. Robert scored a perler from a free kick at Sochaux last week. Now he takes the corner. And a miss kick by Bellamy and then second time around. Way off target. Yeah, it's a difficult one for Craig Bellamy to take. It's a difficult skill on the volley, swinging across the ball like that. Here's the free kick, Laurent Robert. He's that type of player who can whip it right back across the other side of the goal as well, and that's what Peter Cech maybe had in his mind, but uh, he, just took, he just gambled and took that little step to his right and gambled right. This time it's Chelsea's turn to have a free kick for the foul by Titus Bramble. Lampard places the ball. John Terry jogs past him. And although he was offside by a yard or so last time, there was no defender near him as he headed in. Newcastle's marking needs to be tighter. Could be that Lampard will have a pop from here. Robin too can hit them. Damien Duff is over the ball. It is Lampard to strike. Yeah, it's always very difficult when you have got to shift the ball slightly. Uh, players closing in from the side. The closer down from just the side of the wall as well, looking to rush on and, and close it down very quickly. Uh, very rarely do you see a goal come from something that's just shifted and then hit. Genus. Challenged by Gallas. Here is Lee Boyer. By Cavallo. Kieran Dyer. Boya. Genus. Robert. Again, Carvalho in the way for Chelsea. Newcastle have come closer to scoring than Chelsea. Seeing a bit more of the ball now. Dominated possession in the early stages too. Now 
Aaron Hughes doing the mopping up. Yeah, I've got to say there, John, it was good, good defending as a team by Chelsea there. The ball started out on the right-hand side. They forced them back and across and out to the left and then back again. And eventually got in there and made it difficult for the Newcastle midfield. Won the ball and broke and uh, without letting them have a chance at on their own goal and I thought that was excellent the way they worked as a unit there and defended. Gallas. Terry. Bramble. Not a clean header. Oh dear, I think that's about right. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fill you with confidence, Titus Bramble. He's made several individual mistakes through the season, and um, certainly last season as well, which stick in your mind. And, and, and he's got to prove people wrong. Lampard he's certainly stuck in Graham Sunes's mind. The search is very seriously on for at least one central defender. Come the January transfer window for Newcastle. Called by Terry. It's too strong for Good Johnson. Jonas has been out in Holland this week watching a UEFA Cup tie involving Jean Alain Boomsong of Rangers, who seems to be his primary target. I think it's certainly an area everybody recognises they are weak in, and um, he would certainly have to strengthen there. And when you look across the midfield, they've got pace, they've got creativity, they've, you know, they've got some, uh, some excellent players, and they've got the three options at the front, which is excellent as well. Um, it's just defensively, they need that little bit extra. Ian Robin. to Robert it's driven early for Bellamy yeah, I'm just looking down at Ian Robin and uh, there's a very few touches as soon as he gets it there's two players straight on him they're going to make him just pass it easily um, he's going to find it difficult at the moment and I'm sure before this game he thought I'm at home I can get on the ball I'm going to be able to you know, get a bit of space today but he's found it difficult so far Thiago. Under pressure from Genus. He reacts to Makaleli's intervention. Something and nothing. It's private. And Makaleli's frustration showing in the foul. Newcastle have failed to win on any of their last 15 visits to Stamford Bridge. A quarter of this game played in the Barclays English Premier League and they're acquitting themselves fairly well this time around. Yeah, Craig Bellamy will be disappointed with his first touch there. Just feel you can sense things in certain games. Uh, First time this season I've really felt about the Chelsea pitch. It's a little bit firmer and it's, uh, it's a little bit more lively and it's a little bit tougher just to get the ball down and play quickly. Lampard played it straight against Boya. Robert. Kieran Dyer 
Bellamy. And Bellamy's in here. Stout save. And then the drive from Robert. Peter Cech exposed again, though. Yeah, Craig Bellamy just getting too close to the keeper. I actually thought that Kieran Dyer had nearly got himself into some problems, but he manages to turn away. Show great composure. The, the pitch sort of opened up for him. They slid a lovely little ball through for Craig Bellamy. His pace was always going to get him there first. His first touch wasn't tremendous. And as he took it, Peter, Peter Cech just sensed that he could get up on top of him, and that's exactly what he did here. You see his touch as it goes away from him. He just comes out and rushes him and gets a block on it and that's a great chance for Newcastle and a fine save by Peter Cech. And it means now that the two best opportunities of the game have been thwarted by Chelsea's goalkeeper. Not with that save and the stop from Robert's earlier free kick. Chelsea in the form of Frank Lampard. Thiago. Lampard. Swallowed the gap, but it was quickly filled by Hughes. Yeah, the space just opened up then. Ian Robin there just made that little dart through the middle, and the Lampard just couldn't quite get the ball to him accurately. Robin. against Hughes Cross was a tester met by Ronnie Johnson. now it's the goalkeeper's ball and he was given a little helping shove by Ida Good Johnson. hence the free kick <laughs> yeah, just look at the shade given his face I think Good Johnson just lent into him and as he caught it and uh, nudged him forward Damien Duff on that right hand side just cutting in on his left foot whipping one in at pace and Thiago had broke from midfield just couldn't quite make contact but uh, Seen very little from Chelsea going forward. Graham Sines carrying an injury himself. Yeah, a big leg brace on there. I, I didn't know who I was going to see as it came up the body there, but uh, surprised to see it on the end of Graham Sines. That happened in a five-a-side game. I wouldn't mind to be the player who inflicted it. <laughs> we'll be reading about it in tomorrow's papers, I think. <laughs> there was. Good Johnson. Side of Duff. Dyer. Taylor. Terry and now Gallas. Robin. Yeah, I thought he was fortunate there to get the free kick, Robin. Straight away again, as soon as he was on the ball, two players closed in very quickly, no space at all, and he nudged it out of play himself, I felt. sliding in Chelsea now offered at 7 to 4 by English bookmakers 7 to 4 on to win the Premier League title Lampard and if you fancy a flutter on them winning all four available trophies 40 to 1 and there's a great little break there that was on as soon as the ball came to Robert, the first thing in his mind was can I slot Bellamy in, which he did try to do. So uh, just the pass, just lacked that little bit of quality to get it straight into him. Robin. 
Good tackle by Boya. He's looking more like the Lee Boya of old. Yeah, that's right. I think he's just getting that zest back, that fitness back, and uh, that run of games that is needed to get him really back in the groove. And he's starting to look a player again. Despite so many off-the-field problems, he was a vital cog in the Leeds United side that reached the semi-final of the Champions League just three and a half years ago. Now Leeds find themselves in the lower reaches of the league below the English Premier League. given in Chelsea's favour against Taylor. I just felt that as he tried to get uh, the, the right side of uh, Good Johnson there, Good Johnson just nudged him, which meant it hit his hand, but uh, wasn't too sure about that one. Robin. Thiago. Newcastle working hard to make life tough for Chelsea. This is Duff. He's got two to get past. Now Ricardo Cavallo. Thiago. Terry. Robin. He's got a wonderful goal up at Newcastle in the League Cup, Ian Robin. This though is Thiago. And it rather surprised Shea Given. Yeah, as soon as Thiago got turned there, one thing in his mind, he just got it out of his feet and decided to take it on. It's a great strike. You can see there the movement on the ball just causing Shea given the problem. Managed to retrieve the situation in the end. Also, you can see that Newcastle certainly given the two wide players, Robin and Duff, special attention every time they're on the ball. They certainly, Graham Sooner certainly sees them as the main, main danger and the, the creative threat that Newcastle, so Chelsea have got. Here's the goalkeeper's view. Really an embarrassing one, wasn't it? Not too many better goalkeepers in the Barclays English Premier League than Shea Given. As you can see there, possession-wise, the game swung. It's only in the last five minutes, and massively in Chelsea's favour. Bellamy, Hughes. Boya. And Gallas having to be alert to Dyer's impending arrival. There's not many people quicker than Kieran Dyer. He nearly just got the other side of Gallus. Peter Cech just coming out and picking the ball up just in time. And now it's Gallus coming forward. Claude Makalele. Now Paolo Ferreira. Stellar names wherever you look in this Chelsea team. Certainly, I think Ferreira needs to start getting forward. I mean, Chelsea are at home. Duff and Robin are getting special attention, so he's going to have to make that extra man up sometimes and to be a little bit brave and take the... Take Mistake the by Jonsson, and here's good Jonsson. Oh, and he's poked it wide of the post. And the most relieved man inside Stamford Bridge will be Ronnie Jonsson. Yeah, awful mistake. Shouldn't be a problem, there's Titus Bramble. Poor touch from Ronnie Johnson, then, oh, I mean, it's terrible between the two, a terrible mistake. Titus Brown were giving him the ball in the first place, then neither of them does anything as they run towards each other. Good Johnson picks up, he's just looking for a little dink over Shea given. He does that part of it, the part he gets wrong is it's just not on target. Now Boya. Genus. Bramble forced to retreat. Dickiest moment that Newcastle have had so far, that's for certain. Yeah. I mean, tactically, you look at how Newcastle are playing, and up to now, they've, you've got to say they've got it right. Right, They've limited Chelsea to any goal-scoring opportunities, apart from ind individual mistakes like they just made. Makalele. 
given away to Bowyer. Dyer, Clivert. First touch by Boyer. Lampard. When you look at it in open play, Chelsea haven't really bothered the Newcastle defence that much today. Uh, Newcastle certainly having the best two efforts on goal. Robert. Patrick Clivert, poor header. Presented to Thiago. Duff with Hughes at his back. Paulo Pereira to Ian Robin. Lampard. Chelsea trying to turn the screw and Bramble gets a foot in. The ball's coming straight back at them. Makalele. Gallas. Thiago. Makalele. Duff. Inside the penalty area. Whacked in the left foot shot. It didn't travel far. Yeah, I mean, it's getting so tight in there. Chelsea, a lot of possession, passing the ball, looking for those little openings just to, to open up for them. And in the end, it got to Duff, and it took a bit of, of individual sort of uh, class, in a way, to wriggle and get free and drive into the box, and he shifted it onto his left foot and got the shot off. But have got to be fair to Newcastle, they're defending for their lives. Robin, back from Duff. Thiago to Lampard. Down goes Lampard. Referee had a good view and says, nothing doing. Bellamy. Bramble across field to Laurent Robert. And his touch lets him down. Yeah, see what, see what I'm saying about the pitch? You can just sense that the pitch is a little bit lively and it's just getting away from people at certain times. Robin. Away from Boya and then checked by Taylor. It's going to be a yellow card for the 18 year old. Yeah, can't have any qualms with that. The first time in a game, really. Arjan Robin got on the ball. Shakes off Bowyer, knocks it round Taylor. Taylor just sticks his arms out. It's a cynical foul, and uh, he's got to go in the book for that. So what of the free kick? Robin placing the ball for Lampard to deliver. Chelsea appeal that there was some shenanigans going on inside the penalty area, but that's waved away by referee Styles. I actually think it was on John Terry, just saw him go to ground right at the last minute. I never felt he was looked like he was going to get there. I think, I think it was Titus Bramble, he's just come on the inside of him. So Titus Bramble's caught in two minds, whether to hold the line or go with John Terry. And in the end, John Terry gets the, the yard on him and he starts looking at having a little paw at him. And dangerous situation to get himself in. Like a handball there by Carvalho. Free kick is quickly taken to Lee Boyer. Clivert, Boyer. It's the easiest of dropping balls to volley. Clear at the top of the Barclays English Premier League at kickoff. Other games to be played, notably Arsenal in action later on today. So the gap for a while at least could be eight points should Chelsea win. And remember, seven weeks ago there were five points behind Arsenal. Robin Lampard couldn't gather it in. Yeah, but because Newcastle are forcing Chelsea inside, it's getting very congested, very tight. Eye of a needle pass is on, or well, the only pass that's on, and uh, it's, it's very difficult to play for Chelsea. Bowyer. Driven ball. And it required emergency intervention on the far post. 
by Paulo Ferreira. You see the ball comes out to this right hand side. Bowie's on the ball rather than looking to curl it in, he drives it in. Just keeps it away from Czech and it's just dropping, tantalising at that far post area for Bellamy. Paolo Ferreira doing his job defensively and seeing it right out to the to the bitter end. Half time, not too far away now. As Robert swings in the corner. Followed away by Thiago. Jonsson. Hughes. Laurent Robert. Oh, and just over the head of Taylor. And Bowyer back in. Over the bar. Yeah, but it's good play by Newcastle. They've kept the ball well. Slid Bellamy in up that left-hand side. He's just lifted it up. And uh, it's a shame for Newcastle. They couldn't get anyone on the end of it. There's Graham Souness. Head in hand. It's not that bad, is it? No, no. I think he's just like... When you get in those great situations, they're precious when you're away from home. Now. I think he just gets frustrated sometimes they can't just make a little bit more of the good positions that they've been in on one or two occasions good Johnson Gallas now Dyer waiting for support to come from the left side and here it is through Robert Bellamy's in the middle. It's a poorly delivered ball, though. Yeah, I mean, they've worked ever so hard in midfield to win it there. They break out to the left-hand side. You know, it's meat and drink there for that ball in for, for Robert, you'd think. And then all of a sudden, it's a poor cross. And all the good work's gone out the window a little bit. Chelsea have been pretty free-scoring in recent weeks. Ten goals in their last three English Premier League games. being made with the Arsenal team that went through the whole of last season unbeaten in Premier League competition Chelsea have already been defeated once at Manchester City Chelsea though Paul not perhaps capable of the take your breath away sort of football that Arsenal sometimes come up with no I've seen glimpses of it but um, I think when you look at a consistent run of a team that's played absolutely phenomenal football uh, and come up with a record that Arsenal have that's going to take some beating uh, I've got to be honest though Chelsea this season at times have been tantalising today's not one of them by the way <laughs> at least not yet Clivert that's when he's penalised Carla Ferreira and then out of playoff with Jonsson Following the pattern of the two previous home games, a 1-0 win against Everton with a goal 18 minutes from time. And last time out here, 2-2 against Bolton Wanderers. A game in which Chelsea had a 2-0 lead at one stage. Given. Yeah, once again, the ball just jumping up a touch just he goes to strike it and uh, just makes it that little bit embarrassing for Shea Given there as he slices it out of play. I think you've got to give Newcastle a lot of credit for this first half. They've created the better chances, I feel. They've frustrated um, Chelsea without being boring. Um, you know, when they've had chance to play, they've strung passes together, looked to get forward and uh, been good value for, for their draw so far. It's a fairly frustrated Chelsea who are going to be heading in towards the dressing rooms in a couple of minutes' time. Well, I suppose they have to learn that as leaders of the English Premier League, they're going to face days like this. Well, that's right. I mean, we have seen teams come to Stamford Bridge, sit deep, 4-5-1. Uh, Newcastle haven't done that. I think that's the difference with most teams that I've seen come to Stamford Bridge this season. They've actually tried to play... Uh, themselves and impose themselves on Chelsea but uh, and they have had the better chances as we just said but uh, Newcastle's biggest downfall was Ronnie Johnson and Titus Bramble getting in each other's way 
Um, but in open play, Chelsea haven't really opened them up. And ball given against Damien Duff. but not getting too much by way of change out of John Terry. Lampard and Newcastle again have the extra man Aaron Hughes this will be the only additional minute Duff. good time to score awful time to concede and the shot is driven in and it's another go, Robin on both occasions. Yeah, I mean, just picking the ball up on the right side, coming in on his left. The space is there, not one of his better efforts, even though it was on target. Comes back to him, strikes it with his right foot, but always rising just over the crossbar. I think he's found it difficult in this first half to really get himself in the game. Duff as well, I think Newcastle have put two on them every time they've had the chance to get two on them. Forced uh, Chelsea inside and made it very difficult. And so, half-time arrives with a blank score sheet, thanks largely to Peter Cech. A couple of good saves from a Robert free kick and the block from Craig Bellamy as he scampered through. One dodgy moment for Shea Given from Thiago's long-range effort, but generally he's had a fairly quiet half, which is not what you expect when you're the visiting goalkeeper at the home of the English Premier League leaders, Chelsea. The half-time score at Stamford Bridge is Chelsea nil, Newcastle United nil. So the job is half done for Newcastle. They had two of the three prime chances of the first half. But they have a new Chelsea striker to contend with in the form of Drogba. And Jose Mourinho obviously not happy with what he saw from Gudjonsson in the first half. Well, I don't think it's so much Gudjonsson. I just feel that uh, the tactics that uh, Newcastle have employed, they've forced uh, Chelsea through the middle and uh, it's been difficult for him. He's not got a great aerial threat. Um, so maybe with the physical presence and aerial threat that Good Johnson, sorry, Drogba can pose, but they're just going to have that little extra option of being able to throw the odd ball into the box, have a fight ball, the power, physical presence, as I said, of Drogba, maybe pick one or two knockdowns, uh, and maybe just try and unsettle Newcastle that way. Well, Kieran Dyer is down for Newcastle. Ooh. It was nasty from McAvaley. Yeah, I mean, it, Dyer got to the ball first and as he just towed it away, turned his back on uh, McAuley and he just stuck his studs in his lower back, which is uh, very painful, I should think. Well, Newcastle are going to get on with it now. They've won twice away from home so far this season at Southampton and Crystal Palace, both in the nether regions of the Barclays English Premier League. They've drawn three games on their travels and lost twice at Aston Villa and at Bolton. Confirmation from Jose Mourinho on the Chelsea bench that it is a tactical change. Ida Gunnjonsson is not carrying a knock. No distance on Jonsson's header. I think what we might see is some instruction from instructions from Jose Mourinho just to maybe get one or two crosses in now and really test Newcastle defence aerially. Well, it's cleared by Robert to Carvalho. And Thiago penalised for having a little niggle in the direction of Genus. Two managers share one thing in common, they both had short stints in charge of Benfica. Jose Mourinho has lasted only nine games, he was doing so well that he asked for an improved contract. 
Ever been backward in coming forward? <laughs> and the board said no. <laughs> he does suffer a bit of confidence, doesn't he? Drongba. Ferreira Ricardo Carvalho it's Newcastle's throw Newcastle have failed to score in their last three visits to Stamford Bridge last player to register for them Clarence Acuna the now departed Chilean more than three years ago. Yeah, I mean, he just anticipated there, Thiago. Just trying to see a check by having a look at it again, just on how high the foot really was. It was quite high. Five Ertz. On for Bellamy. Layoff for Laurent Robert. Theme of Newcastle scorers on this ground. Peter Beardsley was on the mark the last time that Newcastle won here. Back in 1986. Lampard. It was out of play. It is Newcastle's ball. And Chelsea not yet looking any more comfortable. No, I mean, again, Newcastle working ever so hard just to keep the pressure on. And, um, and they're just forcing Chelsea just to do that, everything that little bit quicker, hurried. They're making mistakes for having to do that. Terry. December looks a tough old month for Newcastle this they have a trip to Liverpool they also have a home game with Arsenal just after Christmas and their stated aim is a place in the top four and with it Champions League football next season Drogba to Robin but to Eva Jonsson Makalele Gallas Once more, William Gallas. Kick clear by Bramble. I mean, nice, neat one too there between Duff and Gallas, but he's on his weaker foot, you know, trying to cross it in. Didn't quite get it right, and uh, the ball getting cut out. I think Newcastle will be a lot happier to see Gallas going down that left-hand side than Damien Duff. doing their best to lift Chelsea Arsenal their closest rivals play a little later today at home to Birmingham I think the crowd are making a conscious effort aren't they to, to try and lift their team they know that it's a subdued performance so far I thought there was a subdued subdued atmosphere in the in the ground really and uh, certainly the game started that way Jose Mourinho making a change Drogba at the front um, I think we just saw a little example there, he used his physical presence, just held off the defender, got it down, squared the pass. And uh, it always gives him that extra option just to, to angle a ball into the box and let him battle for it. Thiago. Robert. Ferreira on this near side 
Drogba, William Gallas, he's a long way forward now. And there are appeals as the ball leapt up suspiciously close to Bowyer's arm. Yeah, I mean, Gallas' imagination and fitness and everything that goes with him going forward is excellent. But here's Bellamy at the other end. And Carvalho lunges and trips him. It's a decision that's given not by the referee, but by the assistant on the far side. And Ricardo Carvalho has been cautioned already. Well, I think he's silly pushing Bellamy if he's already been cautioned. I mean, I, I can understand why he's a little bit frustrated. There's not a lot of contact there. A little bit of upper body contact and down as Bellamy, Bellamy's gone and uh, one his side a free kick in a good position and that's what's frustrated Cavalio. Any Chelsea player that was red carded today would miss the big Barclays English Premier League showdown a week tomorrow against Arsenal. Rob Styles, the referee, pacing out the required distance between ball and nearest defender who now moves forward as soon as the referee's back is turned. And also behind the referee's back, there's a bit of a set to inside the penalty area. Ronnie Johnson forward. In by Robert. And now it's Robin. has got some defending to do you no know, one in the Newcastle side will cover more yards in the course of a game than Lee Bowyer I suspect uh, Jenis as well showed great pace getting back and outstripping William Gallus there Thiago back to Terry and forward for Drogba and the goalkeeper came and just for a moment seemed to be caught in no man's land. Well, it was inches away from being an absolutely fantastic touch. He just comes off that angled run off the right-hand side, just sticks his leg out. It is a, it's a great touch. Just wouldn't come down for him quickly enough and close enough to him so he could just prod it past Shea Given. Newcastle know all about the threat of Didier Drogba from last season's UEFA Cup semi-final where he scored both the goals for his then club Marseille the goals that denied Newcastle a place in the UEFA Cup final itself Johnson out muscling Drogba that time then it's given away to Thiago and reclaimed by Bellamy Clivert. Thiago. Foul right in front of the referee. Yeah, I mean, good, good play by Thiago and Lampard. Quick feet. Thiago picks it up, just skips past Jenis there. He just is committed to the challenge and just, just that fraction late. Rob Starler. Rob Styles appreciating the speed of the game there. I think you can only really book players if you know you think it's an intentional foul. Sometimes the game's so quick and mistakes are made. Robin. Clivert. Now Kieran Dyer. Faced first of all by Makalele. Oh yeah. Terry's header, Taylor, Chelsea have the throw.
from Chelsea again. Thiago. Lost it, and here's Genus. Robert. Hughes. Taylor and there's a tumble and there's a free kick for Newcastle foul by Claude Makalele yeah I just thought Makalele just a bit overzealous there trying to get in front of the player and win the ball sometimes you've just got to stand up and defend the situation there you see he anticipates it but Bowie gets his body in there and wins the foul in a great position protests from Chelsea to no avail to Czech who made a couple of decent first half saves may be tested again and if anything this is an even more promising position for Laurent Robert I think it's on the nice side for him he can go right out to that far post or he can whip it over the wall into the near post and uh... he's desperate to get back in the French national team and that is a fairly typical calling card Again, it's a decent effort and a very good save. Just maybe hasn't got that little bit of pace that it needed just to, to fizz it past Peter Cech. He's down there, it's an awkward one. It just bounces in front of him, so he decides to, to parry it away. Drogba. Just out of play, says the referee's assistant. So what followed didn't matter one job. Mike Tingey on the line yeah I think if he just gets that little bit of curl and that little bit of extra pace on it he's away Robin it's a fair call by one of the most experienced assistant referees operating in the English Premier League Terry changes being planned Matea Keshman and Wayne Bridge being lectured by Jose Mourinho. Drogba. Robert. Pumped forward for Clivert. The fourth for Bellamy. Boya. Again, Robert. Just a degree of confusion, it's behind for a goal kick, Newcastle feel it should be a corner. There you see it comes out, he just fizzes it into that nice area. I think Rob Stiles probably just getting that decision right, didn't see a lot of contact from anybody. So here are the changes. Keshman for Thiago is the first. And the second will be a swap at left back with William Gallas making way for Wayne Bridge. Well, it's certainly going to be more like 4 2 4 now. 4 4 2 and haven't got the ball, and 4 2 4 and they have got the ball. Certainly an attacking move by Jose Mourinho. So all three substitutions used with half an hour still to play. Newcastle yet to make one. Clivert, clearances by Ricardo Cavallo. It's quite a forward line that Chelsea have got now. Keshman and Drogba central, Robin and Duff either side. Exactly, I mean, uh, certainly an attacking, a lot of attacking options there. Good legs with McAuley and Lampard in the middle of midfield still. But they will be overrun in the middle of midfield. McAuley, now Bridge. Not featured much in Chelsea's first team of late. Gallus has been preferred at left back. Even though Bridge is still first choice in the England national team. Makalele to Drogba, to Lampard and marked off the inside of the post. But it crept in, came back out of the stanchion. And Chelsea at long last have their lead. 
Uh, so got, I thought for one minute he's just going to take the touch and he's going to take too long. It's uh, excellent football by Chelsea. You've got to say it's a great little stand-up ball for Drogba from Makaleli. Lampard takes it on the chest and rifles it in with his left foot. Fantastic finish. Kesman sets it off. There's Makaleli. Little dink chip into Drogba. Lampard taking it on the chest. Fantastic finish. Just the start Chelsea needed in the second half. Frank Lampard finds the net for the fifth time this season. And it comes within 90 seconds of Jose Mourinho's double substitution. Well, you've got all those attacking options on the pitch. Robin, Duff, Kesman, Drogba, but who pops up in the box to score that goal? Frank Lampard. Referee content to allow play to roll on. Newcastle lose it though, and here's Duff. Duff tried to go between two, and down he goes. Free kick. Well, that is great football from Chelsea. I think you've got to ask yourself how Frank Lampard pops up in the middle of the Newcastle penalty, penalty area with that much space, time, and everything to score a goal of that type. Um, I think Graham Sooners will be furious with the way they've conceded. So booking for Jermaine Genus. Duff and Lampard over the ball. And the header was from Titus Bramble. And for 60 odd minutes of the game I thought that Newcastle defended ever so well apart from the little miss up between Bramble and Johnson was the only thing that you felt they might really give something up Robin Terry was lurking at the near post stretches by Makalele and Chelsea have a throw conceded by Dyer. Drogba Goes, referee's not interested. It's a theatrical fall. Um, Bowie's foot. Yeah, Lee Bowie's studs just, I think, caught him down the side of his cheek. Andy Durso having words with Mike Tingey. The Drogba is up, he's OK. And in a moment we can continue with the game. Chelsea's towels are up now, there's that little bit of freedom in their game. Carvalho. Yeah, there you see Robin, he knocks it in there for Kesman. I thought he might try and take it himself and selfishly tries to set off Damien Duff who then in turn sets it back for Frank Lampard only a small narrow uh, space for him to shoot at and that was virtually at Shea Given who parries away Lampard's goal separates these two teams now it's quite a long way back from here for Newcastle Clivert 
Robert. And the strike was a decent enough one. It hit Lampard from the boot of Genus. Bowyer then whacked one in. And Bridge completes the clearance. Duff. Lampard. Drogba looking for it, Bramble didn't clear it, Drogba has it! Newcastle defensively are falling apart. Uh, it's a tremendous finish but I mean if you're tight as Bramble and you want to be a central defender and you get brushed off the ball that easily, I know Drogba's a big strong chap but uh, you know you've got to have a little bit more about you than Titus Bramble shows here. It's a great ball from Frank Lampard. But we just look at Bramble there, he gets his body, just gets pushed out of the way too easily. And once Drogba gets sight of goal, he just takes it onto that left foot and sticks it in the, so in the corner there. But, uh, I mean, Graham soon as a look at that and he will be livid with Ty Titus Bramble's his role in this goal. Central defender and he just gets pushed out of the way and that can't happen. And what was it that Drogba was shouting to the crowd, I'm back, I'm back. Well, he wasn't away for long, but it's his sixth goal in Chelsea Blue. Came with a huge price tag, £24 million. Pounds. Marseille, the club that sold him, made a profit of £21 million in the space of just one year. But Lampard got the first, Drogba the second, and Chelsea now have established a comfort zone in this game. a long way back from here at one down for Newcastle it's now in all probability too far back from here at two goals behind the only hope they can take is that Bolton the last visitors here in the Barclays English Premier League came from two down to draw it doesn't happen often yeah, I, mean, I think you've got to give credit to Jose Mourinho for, for being brave enough to put two strikers up front and Robin and Duff on the pitch and still allow Frank Lampard to get forward because what it did was it pulled the two central defenders apart and allowed that space for Lampard to go into where he eventually scores the goal and um, it's a brave move, move by Mourinho up until half time I thought Newcastle were good value for the, for the draw up to then He's a proud father Frank Lampard senior formerly of West Ham and England himself this is Duff Ball. Newcastle's task now is to breach at least twice a defence that's all season long has conceded only six goals in the English Premier League. Uh, I think also sort of possession stack there and um, totally one way at the moment. Well, certainly for this second half anyway. Clivert. Oh yeah. And now Bridge for Chelsea. Now Newcastle are considering changes. And I think Graham Sunes's expression tells its own tale. Could be more pain for Newcastle. Here's Robin. And now Damien Duff. And now Matea Kesman inside of the post and out again. Still seeking his first Premier League goal, Matea Kesman. And then a tumble on the edge of the penalty area, which fails to impress referee Rob Styles. It was Robin that went down. Now I'm trying to think which game it was where he hit the crossbar from two or three yards out. And uh, he's just having one of those sort of situations, isn't he? Where 
It wasn't a bad first touch and he struck it quite quite well. Sometimes they go flying in off the inside of the post at the moment, they're just not going in for him. His only goal for the club remains a winner in a League Cup tie against West Ham. It sits up a little bit and uh, just hitting across the ball slightly, which just takes it onto that post. Agonising for him. Robert. Shielded by Lampard. Keshman. Now Duff. And Newcastle are getting used to back pedalling. Oh, yeah. By Genus. It's with Robert for Newcastle. Newcastle began the day in 10th position in the English Premier League. Quite a way off that top four that they're aiming for. And Robert is tripped by Paolo Pereira. Two Frenchmen together to discuss that, Makaleli and Robert. Stephen Taylor being marked by Lampard. Quarter of out of play at Stamford Bridge. Robert. And then Duff. Boya. Nice ball for Robert. a tumble that was exaggerated by Robert but Pereira's been penalised nonetheless no, I just felt the trailing leg came through and knocked him up in the air there a little bit of payback from the previous free kick maybe you see just as he sets it off the trailing right leg comes through and just helps him up in the air takes his legs away so Newcastle with an awful lot to do at least have the possibilities offered by this free kick. And there are plenty forward. Robert. And Clivert was in. But not close enough to the ball. And Czech is grateful to plunge on it. Yeah, I mean, as this ball come in, I expected Patrick Clivert just to stick his head on it. Seeing the trajectory of the ball was straight on for him and uh, he seemed to just turn his body a bit and, and, and turn away from it. Makalele. One very contented owner. The likelihood is that in 15 minutes from now, Chelsea will be eight points clear at the summit of the English Premier League. comes Newcastle's first change and it's going to be Shola Amiobi who'll come on in place of Laurent Robert <laughs> Amiobi coming on to make his 100th English Premier League appearance for Newcastle United Johnson given away and then run back by Dyer who lost it to Drogba who lost it to Boya 
He's given it to Bramble. He's lost it. What do you mean he's lost it, John? No, I mean... I was talking specifically <laughs> yeah. about the moment. I know, I know. It's me really <laughs> thinking that, to be honest with you. I think he has lost it. I mean, he shows very little confidence. Uh, and I think that proved it. I mean, he had a relatively decent amount of time on the ball. Uh, still managed to put it out of play. I thought it was awful for the goal. The drug was goal. Yeah, the, the mix-up with him and Ronnie Johnson. And uh, you can see why Graham Soonis wants to, to get a central defender in there. Or two. Or two, yeah. went the other way Robin's shot was meat and drink forgiven and this is Jermaine Genus not for long though yeah, having a look down at the pitch a little bit bubbly a little bit lively we said that right from the start just as he went to play that with the outside of his right foot just seemed to come off his shin a little bit and go out for a throw in which is quite embarrassing for a player of his standards of one Bobby Robson from a portion of the crowd now Drogba Duff is square just a yard or so away from making contact with Damien Duff Genus with the header Lampard Yeah, as soon as that sat up for Frank Lampard there, there's one thing in his mind getting up and through that ball trying to dip it down into the back of that net got to that stage in the game there Chelsea where they feel they can almost score at will there's a Drogba goal and every more and more I look at it the easier and easier it looked like Drogba got past Titus Bramble and how disappointed Graham Soonis is going to be will be when he looks at that The third time this year that DDA Drogba has found the back of Newcastle United's net. Twice in that UEFA Cup semi-final and now once in the English Premier League. Lampard. This will be six wins in seven in the league for Chelsea. Their entire record. Played 16-1-12. Assuming this is a victory, drawn three and lost just one. And the team setting the pace. Dyer. And still Kieran Dyer, who's done well. And as with most things for Newcastle in this second half, it comes to naught. And this is Drogba for Chelsea. one on for yeah, I think Drogba there nonchalantly knocked it out to that left hand side then made another run forward Robin there never quite spotted him tried to slide Kesman in I think all his teammates Kesman are desperate to try and help him and, and help him get off the mark in the premiership Quite a contrast for Kesman in the English Premier League. The last two seasons in the Dutch League, he scored 39 and then 38 goals. Yeah, I think when you have a big move to a very big club with big ambitions, there's obviously that added pressure, expectation. Uh, even even getting a game was tough for Kesman in the first instance, and. and the more opportunities he gets or those isolated opportunities that he has been getting he feels like he's got to score to maybe get a chance next time round that hit Bramble and it's picked up by Kieran Dyer Bowyer 
genus. Amiobi. Solid enough from Paolo Pereira, who was then brought down by Stella Amiobi. Newcastle's defensive record now is on a par with the worst in the Barclays English Premier League. 29 goals conceded. was going to drag it onto his right foot and get a shot off, that's where the space was. selection dilemma for Jose Mourinho as he approaches a trip back to Porto on Tuesday in the Champions League so he to rest all his real first choice players Yet at the same time Porto and CSKA Moscow are battling for the second qualification position and UEFA will insist that it's a representative Chelsea team that takes to the field in the Dragao Stadium Question to you, Paul Walsh, being what is a representative <laughs> Chelsea team these days? I think Chelsea's squad is recognised as the strongest in depth as, as anybody's got. So um, I think whoever he put on the park, you couldn't say uh, it wouldn't be a top side. I mean, if he gave Scott Parker a game, if he started with Kesman, um, you know, and, and gave obviously Wayne Bridge back in there, you know, getting a run of games now. You know, an England international left fullback, um, you know, there's. I, I don't see how UEFA. You know, could look at it any other way. Paolo Ferreira. Damien Duff. Allowed to run. Blocked by Jonsson. Here's Robin. Keshman still waiting for that chance in the middle. Duff. This is Keshman. Turned into Bramble. And now it's Dyer. Down goes Clivert. Up pops Lampard. Chelsea looking good value for a third potentially. Drogba. Corner. Yeah, it's been a great comeback for Drogba. There's no better feeling when you've had a little injury layoff coming back and, and getting amongst the goals. will take. And Cashman was setting himself. Yeah, I mean, in them situations, maybe it would have been easier for him to just pull away and maybe attempt to head the ball. Maybe it was too far behind him in his defence. It's a very difficult skill to take on. crowd of the season inside Stamford Bridge Terry Lampard off goes Kedgeman out comes Gibbon A 
first half of struggle and frustration. It seems to be turning out well for the leaders of the English Premier League, Chelsea. Yeah, but John, it wasn't a frustration as though Newcastle just sat back and got everybody behind the board and hadn't tried to play, was it? They actually had a go in the, in the first half, Newcastle. Had the Robert effort, the Bellamy effort. Um, and we're lucky not to maybe be in the lead. I thought we were good value for, for being on level terms at half time. Here's Duff. Newcastle exposed. It's Ian Robin, the current golden boy. And that's the reason why he's a golden boy. Because just about everything he touches turns to goals. Yeah, brilliant finish. Showed a bit of everything there, running with the ball. Strength to hold the defender off. Balance to turn back inside on his favoured left foot. And coolness to finish it off with such a plum. Great goal. Here's it, picks it up, drives forward. Good strength. Holds Bowyer off, I think it was. Just turns inside onto his left side and just slots it in the back of the net. Holds it up, there you go, 3-0. Great finish from a great player. Five in nine games for Ian Robin. He looks older than his 20 years. He plays like a man rather older than 20 in terms of the contribution that he makes. He's a seminal figure already for Chelsea at the very start of his career with the club. Newcastle. Going to be two extra minutes tacked on at the end here. Oh yeah. Terry. Chelsea supporters taunting Newcastle. <laughs> I like the thought that it's really rather fanciful for them to even consider getting into the Champions League. looks like yet another clean sheet with Graham Sineski for a few of those but in Chelsea's case it'll be a 17th clean sheet in 24 matches under Jose Mourinho well, I think before the game the concern was that you look across that back four of Newcastle and it doesn't inspire you does it when you look at the names and the, and the rotation and the players have brought in and dropped out and injuries uh, they've had no consistency in that department and uh, Certainly it doesn't look any better today. And uh, certainly that transfer window, I mean, I said one central defender and you said or two, and I think you're probably right. It would, would be at least two. I thought he was very brave at the start of the second half, Jose Mourinho, bringing on Drogba and Kesman uh, and really going for it. But Because uh, that pulled the defenders apart for Lampard to get in that box and score that all-important first goal. nonetheless second comfortable Chelsea win over Newcastle in the space of a month it could be more comfortable still is that a foul by Gibbon the referee decides that it is a penalty kick please don't send him off though and Jose Mourinho is wanting to get a message on about the penalty taker I wonder if they're going to give it to Kesman but this was the foul yeah, I mean, really, I feel that maybe Shea Given could have, could have held on to the ball. He's gone under him and then he's made contact with Duff. Even my fingers and legs are crossed here for Kesman. There's nothing worse than seeing a striker toiling, going through that situation where he can't quite get off the mark, certainly in the Premier League. Matea Kesman's 20th game for Chelsea. He is yet to score in the English Premier League. 105 Dutch League goals in four seasons. A blank here. No longer. Superb. Even I'm pleased for him. I tell him, relieved for him. Shows some real bottle there going up and taking it. You can see what it means to the other players now. Pleased they are for him. Great coolness there. 
And that's made him feel on top of the world now. Good call from the manager as well, given the penalty. Yeah, I mean, it could have backfired. If he hadn't missed him, he'd have been really down in the dumps. But to show that much coolness in that situation is remarkable. Fantastic penalty. Kesman off the mark in the English Premier League. It's back to back, 4 0 wins for the top team in England right now. Jose Mourinho and his boss, 